more good signs and more good news out of UC Medical Center today. You know, all week long, Bengals players and former teammates of DeMar Hamlin's have been visiting him at the hospital, but his current teammates are back in Buffalo. If they needed to see his progress to believe it. FaceTime helped that happen. I hope that he get better quick and I hope that he can get back on the fit back on the football field soon. Little Braylon sporting a number three jersey to support Damar Hamlin. He and his Evanston Bulldog teammates wanted to add a sign to the growing tribute outside UC Medical Center. We all signed it. He signed it. He signed it. Inside the hospital, the Buffalo Bill safety is not only awake, he's alert, talking and breathing on his own without the help of a ventilator. Just four days after suffering cardiac arrest. When I said that we had a treat in store, um, it was just, uh, you could see the look on their eye in anticipation of what was probably coming. Bill's head coach, Sean McDermott, says the team erupted when they got a FaceTime call from DeMar. He made the heart, the heart symbol probably more than anything, um, and then he gave him a thumbs up. Those words quickly spread through social media and into the Bengals locker room. Kind of like a, a weight on, off everybody's shoulders, um, especially in here and, and out there in Buffalo, we know it's big, but we, we continue to pray for him, you know, and we're excited that he's uh, taking great steps day by day. Here, tonight's coin toss drama did not overshadow the biggest news of the day. Obviously, the timing of this, uh, you know, kind of impacts the league in a different way than perhaps if it was week six. But um, really, you know, that's secondary to DeMar now FaceTiming his team. If everything shakes out like, you know, both teams are planning, you know, the, uh, you know, the ball won't lie when we roll it out there for a big game in, in late January. Like the way that sounds right. Now, UC Health has not said if they've officially upgraded Hamlin's condition, but we do know that him getting off the ventilator and breathing on his own is two of the, or two of the things that needed to happen in order for his condition to be upgraded and for him to eventually go home. We're live at UC Medical Center tonight. Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.